Now, I know I'm kind of like beating a dead horse here, but Galaxy Ascendant is also subversive. It has uplifting themes, um, genuine, genuinely heartwarming moments. Yes, there are stakes to it, but wow, does that thing end on a um, very solid, uplifting note. Oh, yes. So much stuff that is basically down in the dumps, earn your happy ending, oh, it's a perfect victory. No, that that's not Galaxy Ascendant. Galaxy Ascendant, it's like, if I, could, if I could make everybody that I enjoy a millionaire, I would. So that way they can just write to their heart's content. But we'll have to just work through other things. Uh, yes, I, I know I keep comparing it to early Weber, but it really is like where it has like the action and punch that it needs to keep carrying the story along, even if it has a, a fairly um, extended cast, you don't get the sense that anybody's there for no reason, like a, like superficial or anything like that. Every character has a, a reason for being there. So if you love epic space opera, if you're tired of dead IPs just basically shitting away all their legacy and everything else, Give Galaxy Ascended a try, because that is one of the shining examples of superversive storytelling that I can think of. Have a good day, everybody.